Hello everyone, welcome back to RC Robotics and in today's video we're going to be making a homemade FPV RC blimp. Just recently I've acquired some helium so I thought the best way to use that helium is to make an RC blimp. Now today's RC blimp is going to be negatively buoyant, it's not going to be neutrally buoyant, it's going to be negatively buoyant because of the limited amount of materials and the limited amount of electronics that I have. Um, I've only got two motors so those two motors are going to have to do some of the lifting and also some of the controlling. So let's get building. <laughs> we've got everything powered up uh, it's not as pretty as I'd like but it is functional the reason it's not as pretty is because uh, I got told there was half half that tank of helium was half full it definitely wasn't it had enough to fill these two balloons um, so maybe in the future I'll have to go and buy another uh, you know tank of helium and do a bit, quite a better job on the aesthetics but we'll try to get as well as with much what we've got today so we're not neutrally buoyant when we are very very negatively buoyant but our propellers are around about 45 degrees pointing down so hopefully when we've also going forward it's going to push us up um, so that's all in relativity let's just give it a try everything's plugged in everything's ready to go whoa whoa I think one of the propeller, uh, the propellers have hit the <laughs> propellers hit the balloon. <laughs> so here is our Mark II. Turns out that we didn't really need uh, two balloons in the first place. We need only needed one. Just turn the uh, motors pretty much ninety degrees. They're probably sticking out two degrees. I'd say two or three degrees, but there's no mass here because they're, they're not straight or anything. They're just sort of pointed down. It's really hard to get things, you know, this delicate, absolutely spot on uh, with, you know crappy Depron that's made out of, um, you know, disposable plates. But this seems to fly a little bit better. I've got some uh, little winglets on the back. They're not even straight, but you know, it looks kind of funny. It looks kind of comical. So I'm going to show you what it flies like. <laughs> We've now got a working VTX signal. Fantastic. Let's just see what it flies like with the uh, VTX battery. Distribution is now wrong because we've got the battery in the back and it's no longer going forward. See you. Let's rectify that. Move in up to the front there. This should work now. This should work. Look at that. Working FPV blimp made from common, ho common household materials. <laughs> yeah, because everyone has an FPV camera lying around the house. Yeah. <laughs>
Don't run me, don't crash into me. Don't fight with me. <laughs> Is it yeah, it's not even breaking up or anything. I've got trust issues with you with these moving flying machines. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh. Right, I'm going to see if I can fly FPV. Let me know because before, it was, I've reviewed the footage before and it wasn't uh, the propeller that hit the balloon, it was my cat scratch post here. So, actually, I wonder if I could cover that up, and then just in case I did crash into it again. Yes. Right, hopefully now, even if I crash over there, uh, that this won't affect it. So, here I go into FPV, I can't wait for this. Where's the balloon? There it is. Ooh. Right, so I've got to get it floating first before I go FPV. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's a bit wobbly, but it's an amazing picture. This is awesome! FPV RC Blimp. So thank you very much for joining us here at RC Robotics. If you do like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is just up there in the corner. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, I'll put one down video down here and another video just down here. And if you do actually like the content, please hit that like button down there. It really, really does help the channel. I thank you very much and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.